All right, yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. We are back uh, with the second video of the day. Today we're going to be talking about the milestone uh, collectibles and sets, and I'll try to break it down and let you guys know what it's all about. But we have these milestone challenges. As you can see, this is for the week. Now, what I don't know is, is if this is a weekly thing that every single week we're going to get seven of these, and the seven will... Am I trying to say we'll get seven every week and we'll get new players every week or if this is something that uh, we'll just get from time to time because I know this can't be this is, can't be the only time we get this so I don't know if it's a weekly thing or a time to time thing um, so that's the only part of this I really don't know here are the solos uh, the Sunday milestone solos there are six of them and they all guarantee an elite collectible. You should all be elites for these six different milestones. Uh, and there are six solos. I haven't played them yet. I'm going to try to get to them. Hopefully I can get to them. Uh, it's been a pretty busy day. Uh, it's already 6.30. Uh, I've got to do some grilling, some burgers for family, and then uh, watch the Notre Dame-Texas game uh, with family as well as sweat as I lose money because I bet on Texas. Uh, I bet on Texas to win, and I bet on them to cover the spread, so hopefully they at least cover the spread so I can break even. Uh, actually, I think, I think as long as one of them covers, whether they, well, obviously, if, if they cover the spread, because obviously if they win, they cover the spread, but if they, uh, as long as they cover the spread, I think I win, because I think I had them at, like, plus 105 for the spread, so... I think as long as they cover the spread, I should be good. But let's get into this. Let's get into these sets, uh, and I can break it down a little bit better here. I will be doing one of these just for the heck of it. I actually should check the price. The price on all of these elite players went, or on all of the players went up. Uh, Aaron Rodgers went up the most. I think he's now at 105k. I uh, that actually that's not. He went up an extremely high amount. Um, the other. Or he went up extremely high this morning. He was at like 150, so that was about the highest that I've seen him. Uh, and he's kind of the one that everybody's wanting. Uh, he's not the one that I would want, but what they also do is give special abilities. Uh, his is Conductor. It grants the QB extra hot routes. Uh, Eli Manning also has this. Next is Emmett Smith, uh, who gives the Chemistry Battle Ready a special ability. That always puts the tackle battle me mechanic on the A button. That's not really that important to me. I don't really find it that hard. To, th there's only like four possible buttons, so I don't really think it's that hard to hit the right one. Uh, next is Anthony Munoz, and he gives the additional chemistry zone blocker. Uh, what these do is they add an additional z chemistry. I don't believe they do anything other than add the additional chemistry or, you know, on these, give you the additional... Um, special ability next is deandre hopkins he gets the additional chemistry chain mover let's look at deandre hopkins did he go up i think he was like 50k before okay he went up to 80k i do have one of these players which is the one that i'm thinking about doing which is this martellus bennett here he gains the additional chemistry new england offense i don't actually know if i'll do his chemistry but i'm actually interested in it i do have his base card in it that's it's pretty cheap to do his set so i probably will end up doing the martellus bennett because why not uh next is k1 short i know his price skyrocketed for a little while as well but he's at 55k not extremely high for him uh next is Derek wolf i forgot to say martellus bennett adds the new england offense um k1 short adds the line pusher chemistry Derek wolf adds the denver defense chemistry next are the kind of special ones which is the levante or I was, lawrence timmons levante david's the next one but lawrence timmons he adds the additional chemistry inside blitzer and this is the flashback lawrence timmons now he should have gone up he went up just a teeny bit in value i believe i saw him for going for 40k the other day so he went up a little bit but not a huge amount uh next is the levante david like i said that gets cover linebacker chemistry next is another special it's the signature vante davis uh i actually really wanted the signature card and it's 350 and it's the only one up i could actually buy it if i wanted it but i don't 
Uh, so you can get the additional chemistry onto Vontae Davis, which is pick specialist. And then finally is Cam Chancellor, another card that I actually would like for my team, but I just don't see the point of buying them when I have 85 uh, TJ Ward. But Cam Chancellor going for 74k, way more than I would want to pay for a two overall upgrade. Uh, but he adds the chemistry big hitter. And as you can see in here, you need gold collectibles and then you need elite collectibles elite collectibles are guaranteed on sundays and the other collectibles are gained during the week i believe there are four solo challenges released per day during the week and there's the sixth set on sunday that guarantees you one elite of every single milestone uh, these are not auctionable or tradable and there are six different ones that you can get. Monday's passing, Tuesday's rush defense, Wednesday's rushing, Thursday's pass defense, Friday's receiving, and Saturday is turnover. And then Sunday wraparound will be all milestones again if we continue this as a weekly thing. Um, these aren't like the craziest things that I'm super like stoked to get or anything like that. But they did kind of set prices a little bit high. Uh, for some cards, you are able to make a few coins if you had them. Let's see, we'll take a look at the... Okay, there are none up. Oh, he could... I'm stupid. There are none up because you can't get them yet. Uh, we'll take a look at their prices. I'll maybe do a video uh, for this first week going over so that we can take a look at their prices as we go here. And then after that, I'll probably just do an update on Sundays letting you know what's going to be coming out. Uh, for the rest of the week, which days are what, and then I won't do any more videos on talking about the uh, milestones. It'll just be like an every Sunday thing, and then I'll talk about the new players every Sunday, because I think that's when they'll come out. So we'll talk about the new players on Sundays, we'll take a look at the week ahead, and that'll be it. Okay, he did go up in price to 4k, he was... It was 2k, so he doubled in price. That's not worth it for me to sell him because he's been playing really well on my team. I actually haven't been playing much. I haven't played anything since I showed you guys the video of me completing Ultimate Seasons. I need to start the team challenges, but like 512, that just sounds like such a daunting thing to start. I just haven't. And yesterday I was at the Michigan season opener against Hawaii, so that pretty much eliminated my full day yesterday. Hence why there were no videos up. I was going to record a Pokemon Go video while I was up there, but you couldn't take any bags into the stadium, which was weird. Like, you couldn't take a bag. Like, I have like a... I don't even know what to call it. One of those string bags. I have an Under Armour string bag that I use to carry all my crap around when I go to sporting events. And I wasn't allowed to take it inside, so I had to run it back to the car. And it had all my recording software and all of that different stuff in the bag, so I couldn't do any of that. Uh, but it was a fun game. I got a couple of clips. Uh, I might throw something together and throw it up for you guys. But that's going to do it for this episode. Um, that is the new milestones and milestone challenges. We'll pick it up tomorrow with passing, and I'll go through this week, like I said, and we'll see exactly what this yields next week. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.